Hello, friend Jim here with JB's Big Adventure coming to you from Lake Chapala, Mexico. And isn't it something? We actually have reached a new year. 2022 is now behind us. And we have 2023 in front of us. And this video, um, you know, I've I've been doing videos now for just over a year. And uh, I'd like to think that I've gotten better and better at it and provided better and better content. Uh, things are more pertinent to you uh, when it comes to living in Mexico and living at Lake Chapala. And I, I know that I've not made a big thing about this um, necessarily on camera, but I was raised a preacher's kid. And there's a part of me that knows that I'm special and just like you're special. And I really believe that Christ wants us to enjoy our life, uh, to be happy, to let our light shine to other people. And there were a number of years that I was a motivational speaker. I spoke to folks about having their own business and being able to succeed at it and be able to look at life differently. And I've made it real clear on this channel that I have been um, dealing with severe depression, PTSD, bipolar, and ADHD all at the same time. I share that with you for this reason. And that is, I pulled out some of my journals of notes and things that I've shared in seminars that I had done over a period of about 20 years. And there were some things I came across about how to have your best year ever. So just like the thumbnail says, how do I have the best year ever? Being an expat living here at Lake Chapala. So I've got some things that I want to share with you that um, uh, I'm not outside. I'm, I'm in the house and I'm doing this uh, from a place that I'm you know comfortable at. I'm sitting here. But what I want to do is I want to share some things with you that that I hope that by by the end of this video of you seeing this, it's made an impact in you, because I really believe that we're always influencing others, and we're always we're either influencing them, influ influence, influencing them for the better, or for the for the for the bad, for better or for good. And I'd like to think by the end of this that you can kind of look at yourself and says, how am I how am I influencing others? And so I want to share some things with you about having your best year ever. And first of all, start about the amazing experience it is that Barbara and I have experienced over the last year and a half living in Mexico, living here at Lake Chapala. And by the way, I've got notes here in front of me of stuff that I've taken out of my journals and all. So that's, I'll be looking down, looking at you, but, but I just want you to realize I'm not trying to have my eyes not on you, but what I want to do is make sure I'm sharing this information. My, uh, uh, due to my, my depression, it turns out that I forget things real easy. So I don't want to forget anything here for you. So I would say that I've changed as a person living here at Lake Chapala. When Barbara and I were back up in the States this last September, uh, we went to our home church and folks were telling Barbara how relaxed we looked. It, we just seemed like different people. Um, my mom has said the same thing, that it just seemed like it's really changed us. And it really has. It really has. And so I want to talk about the good things that's taken place here and what happiness is all about. And so... One of the things, too, I know has made a difference is we've made new friends. We've had the opportunity of meeting places. And there's all kinds of places here to meet people. You can meet people at, at restaurants uh, where there's live music, uh, dancing. You can meet people at the plazas. Uh, there's a plaza in Ajijic. There's a plaza in Chapala. There's a, there's a plaza in San Antonio uh, where you can meet folks. And also at the Lake Chapala Society, there's a good opportunity of being around a lot of other people. There's a, there's a lot of events that take there, takes place there. Um, I did a video here back. Well, I've done several videos actually from, from uh, Lake Chapala Society. But um, a lot of things, everything from learning 
Spanish to uh, pottery and arts and crafts and um, part of different types of groups that talk about different things that are important in life. Um, sem uh, seminars, uh, seminars, but also concerts too. So it, it, Mexico is all about experiencing the arts and the culture and the colors. And because of that, this has been a great therapy for myself. And I would say for Barbara too. And, but the therapy has been also being able to share with you. And the relaxing that takes place here and the, the, discon the disconnecting and the unplugging, the ability just to be able to have the stress and anxieties that I believe that we kind of go through life experiencing. And sometimes we experiencing those over and over and over and don't really realize that we can make a change. We can change things. Uh, we don't have to live in the same state that we're always living in. Uh, we can move. We're not trees, so we're able to move. We're able to grow. So, what? A couple things I wanted to share, and that has to do with happiness. And there are signs of happiness. Um, and I'm going to start, as I say, I read a few things here for you. And as while the perceptions of happiness may be different from one person to another, there are some key signs. Key signs that you can look at when referring and measuring assessing happiness. Some key signs of happiness include feeling like you're living the life that you've wanted. So if you're not living the life that you wanted in the States and you're dealing with stuff you don't have to deal with anymore, I want you to know there's a lot of people that come here for that. They come here for the change, the change of pace, the change of, the change of surroundings. That's the reason they're here. Uh, going with the flow and the willingness to take life as it comes. There's folks that come here for the, the adventure of looking that things can be changed for them. Feeling that conditions in your life are good is happy. Enjoying positive, healthy relationships with other people. Feeling that you've accomplished something. Uh, one of the things I hear from folks I talk to that have moved down here is the fact that they went from one place, they went through the whole entire process of selling their house, selling their items in the house, making the, the transition, mentally preparing themselves for coming to a totally different country and living. And so there's a real positive when it comes to that. Feeling satisfied with your life. Feeling positive at times more than negative being open to new ideas and experiences moving to mexico you definitely will get that here uh, practicing self-care and treating yourself with kindness in our world today there is a real push on the negativity of where we are when it comes to our world and although i believe that when you have Christ in your life, that your life has more meaning to it. And whatever it is that, that you may believe, um, what I just want you to know is I really believe that we've got the ability of being happier because of the fact that we realize that the way things are today in this world aren't going to be, isn't going to be something that lasts forever. There will be a better place. Um, Another part of being happy is being and having gratitude, being grateful for things. I mentioned in a couple of videos back that um, it's been a little cool here the last week or so. And it's nice getting in bed and getting under a heating block. Um, for some reason, my side, there was something wrong with it. And Barbara ended up, I guess, unplugging and plugging something back in. But she had mentioned to me about it was working my side. And I told her how much, how grateful I was when it is working. And I really am. It's just nice to be able to, to be warm when it's a little cool outside. So grati gratitude for that. Um, gratitude that we're here. Um, I really feel grateful 
about the people that I've come in contact with. I feel grateful for you. I feel grateful for the chance of speaking to you and sharing with you things that you might not already know and being able to provide for you the information about being able to move to Mexico. Feeling that you're living a life of purpose and meaning. I'd like to think that the light inside of me shines outward. So what you feel about me when I'm sharing with you, um, those are all genuine. I genuinely care for people. And, you know, I, I want to share that with other people. I want to share that with other people. And I think that makes a big difference, too. Um, the last one, wanting to share happiness and joy with others. One important thing, though, to remember is that happiness isn't a state of constant euphoria. It's kind of like getting married. What's it like when you get married? I mean, there's that euphoria that you're involved in. And then there comes a point where that kind of slips away because of the fact that you're dealing with life. Uh, you've got jobs, careers that you're dealing with. And uh, I'd like to say that it isn't always euphoria, but I would like to think that there's times in life where that is there. And I'm going to talk about that in just a moment. So instead, happiness is an overall sense of experiencing more positive experiences than negative. So happy people still feel the range of emotions Anger, frustration, boredom, loneliness, and even sadness from time to time. But even when faced with discomfort, they have an underlying sense of optimism that things will get better, that they can deal with what's happening in front of them, and that they will be able to feel happy again. So, how do we have the best year ever in 2023 as an expat in Lake Chapala. Some things I want to encourage you to do. The challenge is getting over the fear of being in a new country where things are different. The solution is realizing that that fear really isn't real. I've heard it said that uh, fear, F-E-A-R, is false evidence appearing real. And so there's times where we'll think it's real. I deal with it myself. I've, I've, I've taken medications where, wow, they really had me in a weird place. And I, it just was weird. I mean, there's a lot of things I was hallucinating about. And I was quickly taken off that medication. I'm glad I was because it was bad. Um, but here's the outcome of that. And that is making a decision that things are going to be better. So what I'd like to do. Is, is for you to know that the only place that fear can really exist is in our mind, thinking about the future, although that 99.9% .9 of the time it never comes, never comes through. So this year, I'd like to encourage you to make a decision to grow this year. I'd like to encourage you to, new, to learn new things this year. You know, here there's, there's, there's learning Spanish, there's the arts, there's the colors, there's so many things that you can get involved with here that can help 2023 be your best year ever. Making new friends, that's really an important thing. One of the things I get a kick out of is, is when I've been able to meet with folks that are part of the channel and we've either had a meal together or we, we've just happened to meet somewhere on the lake, here at the lake. But just the fact that um, making new friends is so important, and it really is important here. Um, to find companionship, there are folks that have lost their loved ones. <sighs> what I can tell you is um, I was married for 30 years and then went through a very difficult divorce. And... I will tell you, companionship's an important thing. 
And there's a lot of things that we'll do for companionship. And I want you to know there are people that move here, people that come here anyway. There's those I've been able to help just over the phone, help walk them through the process of being able to go through everything, sell the house. Uh, some had to retire. Some just need the extra care. And that's one of those things that I'm glad that my heart is that way, that I can, I've sealed people, you know, um, I have that empathy Empathy that um, when other people are feeling hurt, I, I can feel that. And uh, I'd like to think that one of the things I do here is I help in that regards of understanding. Um, some come to find love. Um, there's nothing like having love in our life. That feeling of the anticipation and everything we go through and whether it's, you know, in the morning and anticipating being with that person that we were spending time with and maybe dating um, or the anxiety and fear that comes when you're first meeting new people. Um, and uh, but Lake Chapala can be a place where you can find love. And I've heard I've heard from several folks that they've met and um, they have found love. So it's something very much and very true can happen here. To find a place of peace and tranquility. The lake, we're a mile high. Fresh air. Unlike some cities in the in the States, how you can uh, you can see what you're breathing. <laughs> Being from Southern California, I know what that's like. And um, but the tranquility and what takes place with therapy here and um, being able to sit and people watch and just taking in everything here at Lake Chapala and the beauty of what Mexico has to offer and the Mexican people, um, very gracious, um, very happy, very connected, family oriented. It's great to see that here. So whatever 2023 has for you, I'd like to encourage you to look inside of you and says, what is it going to happen for you, what are you going to do different in 2023? I'd like to encourage you to find happiness. And I really believe that Lake Chapala is a great place to have that happen. And find the things that make you happy. That's an important thing when you're moving here is why are you moving here? Knowing why you're moving here and find happiness in that. So, I hope this has been helpful for you about happiness in Lake Chapal and having your best year ever. I hope it's been a little bit of a fresh air for you that you can that you can you can think of it as being something that's kind of giving you maybe some more motivation than maybe what you have right now. Because we can together. We can go through and we can make our surroundings a happier place and we can impact and touch other people's lives and have influence. But I'd like to encourage you to have your best year ever in 2023. So I'd like to encourage you, if you haven't already, I'd like to encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's a great community. On the bottom right hand corner is a red box. Tap on it, you're subscribed, and you'll know when our next video comes out. Also, go ahead and give us one of those thumbs up. Let's other people know through YouTube. That's a great video to watch about retiring to Lake Chapala. You can stop by, say hi, ask a question, or leave an idea of a video you'd like to see. And make sure you hit the bell because that way you'll be immediately notified when our next video comes out. You don't want to miss our next video. So with that, goodbye 2022. We're going into 2023. So from Barbara, Esme, and myself, Happy New Year for 2023. And let's make this your best year ever. Have an awesome day and an awesome year. I look forward to meeting you. Appreciate you a bunch supporting this channel. Go out and make it your best year ever. And we'll see you on the next video.